Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got everything for you right here. We're going to get into, into NFL action for week seven, but before we do, I want to invite you to join. You'll have access to the VIP club section. And again, you see all these tabs, all of these have some tools that will help you make your picks. Okay, so we have some divisional games coming up this week, and that's mostly what I'm focusing on today out of the four games we're going to take a look at. But the biggest uh, game is going to be a rematch of last year's Super Bowl with the Chiefs and the 49ers. So let's get started and take a look at some of these games. The first one we want to look at, uh, let's see, scroll down here a little bit. You can see there's a lot of material here on all these games to so check out any one of these as you wish, your convenience. The Detroit Lions and the Minnesota Vikings. In this NFC North battle, you see the Lions are coming in burning hot as are the Vikings. The Vikings have not lost yet this year. And the Lions have only lost once. And the Lions are really, really hot after dropping 47 against Dallas last week. You can see here that Minnesota is a home favorite of 1.5 points, odds of 1.8 to 2.05, over under sitting at 50.5. And you can see there's five stars for the over under pick. The teams have been trending in games under the line. Uh, the last two for Detroit over, we see three out of the last five have been under, and Minnesota, every one except for one, has been under the line. The score prediction is for the Vikings 23 21. The confidence in the prediction is at 72%. Note that the Vikings have won their last eight games, but the Lions have covered the spread in four out of their last five games as an underdog. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Detroit has a slight edge of plus 27 to plus 24. Head to head last season, it was Detroit winning both games as favorites. Detroit winning 30 to 20 at home and 30 to 24 on the road. So nearly identical scores. Um, Let's take a look at the stability factor. Detroit has been much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at three compared to zero for Minnesota. Let's see if there's been any movement in the money line this week. And we will detect here that it started at 1.833 for Minnesota. And you can see there's been some movement in the line. It got to 1.741 and now has leveled off at 1.8. The Lions won both games last year. That's something I like. Uh, I think it's time for the Vikings to lose a game. I just had that feeling that the, the Lions are going to keep that hot streak going by putting up points again like they did last week. Not like they did last week, but enough that Minnesota won't be able to catch them. Let's go with the Lions and over the line. The next game we want to look at is Houston and Green Bay. Here's another game with two teams burning hot. Uh, Houston coming in just with one loss on the season, as uh, Green Bay is 4-2 and two on the season. Uh, Green Bay is a 2.5 point home favorite. The odds are 1.645 to 2.30. The over-under is sitting at 47.5. Notice the teams have been trending in games uh, mainly over the line. Uh, four out of the last six combined between the two teams over the line. The score prediction is 30-17 to 17 in favor of the Packers with 79% confidence in the prediction. I don't see this being a 13-point game, but we'll get to that, the pick a little bit later. Um, the Packers have covered the spread in 80% of the last five games as favorite, and they've also won 80%. Um, if we look at the power ranks indicator, both teams on the upward trend. Houston is at plus 26 compared to plus 23 for the Packers, which is a slight edge there. And if you look at the stability factor, Houston has been more consistent regarding the favorite underdog status at plus three. Green Bay was at minus two, and they are now at zero. Okay, the scoring differential edge goes to the Packers at plus 41 to plus eight. And that is something to take note of. If we look at the money line here, the line opened at 1.909 for the Packers. And has moved quite a bit. There's a big movement here. Look at this movement up to 1.625 and as well off at 1.645. So I like the Packers by a touchdown, but I'm going to pass on the over under bet. And you can see there's a lot of games here that we can take a look at. The next one is Philadelphia and New York Giants. This is a classic NFC East battle. 
The Eagles are coming off of a win. They are 3-2 and two on the season at average status, while the Giants are coming off of a 17-7 loss at home, and they are ice cold down. The Eagles are home favorites of 1.58, or excuse me, road favorites of 1.588 to 2.450. That is a three and a half point line. The over/under is at 42.5. And you can see the over five star for over. Um, if you look at the over/under, the teams have been trending on in games under the line, um, and the score prediction is for Philadelphia by 24-11 score, which would be under the line. The confidence in the prediction is at 63. On the power ranks indicator, neither team has really uh, gotten up for their too high yet. Um, Philadelphia is on the upward climb at plus 12, while the Giants dropped from 11 to 9 after last week's loss. Let's take a look at the money line here. Um, opened at 1.5 to 9 for the Eagles, and you can see here there's some money coming in on the Giants right there. You see that money coming in on the Giants? And the line went to 1.625 and is now back to 1.588 in favor of Philadelphia. And I do like the Eagles in this one. Um, they are a three-star pick. I like them to win and cover in a game under the line. And then the last game we want to look at is we go all the way down to the bottom. You can, you can look at any one of these games you like. There are a lot of interesting matchups. Uh, but we're only going to take a look at one more. And that is going to be the 49ers and the Chiefs as soon as we get to it. And here it is. The Chiefs um, coming in, burning hot, have not lost a game. And the 49ers are average stats, and they're 3-3 three and three on the season. The Chiefs are underdogs, despite being 5-0. Uh, the 49ers are 1.5 point home favorites. Odds of 1.8 to 2.05. Over under is sitting at 47.5. And look at this, 97%. For under the line in this one, and a 54% chance of the Chiefs winning the game. And you can see the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the line. The last three games for the Chiefs under, and three out of the last four over for San Francisco. The score prediction is for Kansas City by a single point, 26 25. The confidence in the prediction is at 77%. Notice if it comes in with this score, it will be a game over the line. On the power ranks indicator, you can see the Kansas City Chiefs are at plus 25, while the 49ers are at plus 11. Both teams on upward swing. Head-to-head uh, -head matchup, Super Bowl last year, right? Kansas City winning in a feet by a field goal, and it was 25-22, and that was the last time the two teams have played. Last time they played in the regular season was in 2022. If we take a look at the money line, it opened at, uh, let's see, if it, uh, it doesn't say, it's just it's a public percent 31. Anyway, here it is. Here we have a, a line here, 1.909. And right here on the 24th, excuse me, the 14th, there's a sharp move detected in favor of the 49ers, which moved the line to 1.8. And the current line is now at 1.8 as well. So what we're looking at here is I think we got an interesting game for sure with the Super Bowl matchup. But I like the Chiefs on the road. I think they're going to continue to go undefeated for now. And I think it's a field goal game and under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NFL for Week 7. Happy betting, and we'll see you again next week.